Hey folks, Jeff Little, sales manager for Torquedo in Annapolis, Maryland at the United States Sailboat Show. And I'd like to take a few minutes and walk you through our most popular motor. This is the Torquedo Travel 1003. Uh, there's over 60,000 of these uh, in the field worldwide. This is a three to four horsepower equivalent digital brushless motor. It's perfect for dinghies and tenders, but we'll also push day sailors and fishing boats up to a ton and a half. So there's a tremendous amount of power uh, generated by this digital brushless motor. Let me talk to you a little bit about the technology in this motor here. Inside uh, is a very unique, uh, unique design that utilizes rare earth magnets. They are six times more powerful than the type of ferrite magnets used in say a trolling motor. All of that uh, that power is used to create a tremendous amount of torque which is ex expressed in this very long propeller. The propeller also has a very aggressive pitch which means each time each revolution it's taking very big bites of water that is able to move quite a bit of weight. As we move upward we're going to take a look at the battery. The battery lithium ion battery sits right on top and that actually detaches from the motor. Um, the motor comes with a charger. It's charged right here. This is the power cable and this is the the data cable that speaks to the the throttle here. One of the cool things about the battery is it has a GPS unit that lets you know your speed. Because of the data cable we have the watt draw that's coming out. This is the remaining battery percentage and it uses that information to calculate your remaining range. If, for instance, you know that you have more than six hours and 16 minutes to go to get back, you just back off and that remaining range number grows. There are actually two options for the battery. You have the fi standard 530 watt hour battery, or you can opt up to a 915 watt hour battery to give you additional range. While this display that shows you your remaining range is nice, maybe you aren't always paying attention. So we actually have an audible alarm that will warn you when you're getting close to the, uh, the end of your, your charge here at 30%, 20%, and 10%. Let's take a closer look at the different ranges and speeds that you can do. And in this example, we're gonna use a dinghy or a tender. Let's take a look in the catalog. It actually shows you some examples. Uh, this first one is with the 530 watt hour battery and at the top speed of 5.7 miles per hour you can go about 35 minutes. If you slow down to 2.3 miles per hour you can have a runtime of 10 and a half hours. Sliding over to the 915 watt hour again you're having the same top end speed of 5.7 mile per hour but that 35 minutes jumps up to 55 minutes and at a lower speed of 2.3 miles per hour you go all the way up to 17 and a half hours. Most folks that get a Torquedo travel motor do so just because they're frustrated with the maintenance and the hassle of a gas motor. Uh, the Torquedo travel has much less maintenance but there are a few things you want to keep in mind taking care of the Torquedo travel motor. We recommend around the four year mark of ownership that you take the, the motor to a service center. We have 15 of them in North America so they can check the seals to make sure that they are in good shape. Moving up towards the battery again, we're gonna look at our terminals. Here we have the data cable and the power cable. It's very important that you have good connection here. One of the most, uh, one of the best ways to maintain good connection is to make sure that they are securely seated and not cross-threaded. And also we recommend that you use some WD-40 to make sure that we have good electrical connection here. Occasionally we use the motor in areas where people are fishing or where there's vegetation and that fishing line can get caught in here or even uh, subaquatic vegetation uh, and with time if you don't check underneath this prop uh, that will actually wear uh, through a seal inside. What you need to do is use a 17 millimeter uh, socket and to pull this 
every couple trips and make sure that there's no fishing line or vegetation under there. If you see any, please clear it and put your prop back on. If you run shallow, the motor will kick up, unless of course you want to have reverse. And in order to do that, you have the reverse lock right there. That allows you to use the reverse gear. One of the coolest safety features that we have is the magnetic kill switch. So if you have this attached to you, if you fall out of the boat or even move away from the, the tiller, this will pull off and that will stop the motor. I've been working with our service team in Crystal Lake, Illinois to produce a whole line of service videos. So if you have any service related questions, the first place I would go is to YouTube and just do a search for Torquedo, travel, and service. And a lot of those videos will come up. That includes air codes like air code 30, which I'll tell you is the most common one. And that means that there's a bad electrical connection, usually WD-40, or making sure that the terminals are not cross-threaded will take care of itself. But beyond that, we teach you things like how to replace your propeller or many other things associated with servicing your Torquedo travel motor. One of the greatest things about this motor is its overall weight. Uh, you're right around 34 pounds, but you're never gonna lift 34 pounds all at once because it comes apart in three pieces. I'll take the, the tiller throttle off. We'll take the battery off. That weighs 11 or 12 pounds. And then the motor itself. Very easy to hand from your day sailor down to the tender, someone waiting to take it on. I know a lot of folks uh, that here at the boat show have been talking about how that's the main reason why they got this, because it's lightweight, it's easy to hand down to somebody. So if you want a powerful, clean energy and lightweight option to a temperamental gas motor, power up with a Torquedo travel motor.